Assalamu alaikum dear viewers, hope you are doing well. I am Shubham Vadayu, again here with another informative video related to the electrical engineering and the MATLAB simulation. Dear viewers, today we are going to perform the short circuit test of the transformer on MATLAB software. So before doing this test, let us discuss some few points regarding the short circuit test of the transformer. This test is conducted to determine the forward couple losses in the windings of the transformer. The secondary winding which is usually the low voltage winding is short circuited by a thick conductor and variable low voltage is applied to the primary winding which is usually the high voltage winding. The low input voltage is gradually raised till at the VSC voltage. So the full load current starts flowing from the primary winding of the transformer. Iron loss in the core of the transformer is negligibly small since voltage VSC is very small in this test. Hence, what meter will practically register the full load copper losses in the windings of the transformer. So dear viewers, without wasting time, let us do the simulation of the short circuit test of the transformer on the MATLAB software. So dear viewers, our main task is to measure the full load copper losses of the transformer in the short circuit test. And now we have to implement this short circuit test diagram uh, on the MATLAB software. So you can see this is the HV winding which is the primary winding of the transformer okay and this is the LV winding. Now in this case in this test the LV winding uh, of the transformer which is the secondary winding is short circuited by a thick conductor and the variable low voltage is applied to the primary winding of the transformer which is called the HV winding and this uh, watt meter which is connected with this HV winding or the primary winding of the transformer will practically give the uh, full load couple losses in the transformer winding. So now we have to implement this circuit diagram and observe the results of the full load couple losses uh, in the short circuit test. So go to the MATLAB and go to the new simulating model, take a blink model. Okay. Now right here the power LIB power library. Now we need the AC voltage source. Okay. We need transformer. Okay. And we need the current measurement. We need voltage measurement. Also, we need the ground. You can take from the element block. This is the ground. Okay. And uh, we need the display. Okay. Now, assemble this circuit as per the circuit diagram. Okay. So, this is the transformer, three winding transformer. Okay. Now, make it two winding. Okay. Now we need an RMS block, root mean square block. Now this would give us the RMS value of the current and the voltages. Okay, now this current measurement is connected in series with the primary winding of the transformer. Okay, now this is the primary winding. Okay, and connect the second point of the transformer with the negative of the AC supply. Now connect this ground with the negative of the supply. Okay. Now this is the display block. Okay. We need another display block for the voltage measurement. Okay. Now this display block would give us the value of the full load current from the primary side okay now we need uh, the voltmeter just connected in parallel across the primary winding which is the hv winding so this is the hv winding and this is the lv winding okay now this voltmeter would give us the vsc okay low voltage to the primary side which is the VSC 
every voltage okay which is the low voltage denoted as vsc okay now as per the circuit diagram as you can see now this lv winding is kept short circuited so now this is the lv winding make it short by a conductor now as per the diagram of the short circuit test okay now hv winding is connected with the source side okay you can see this is the hv winding connected with the ac voltage source and this is the lv winding which is short circuited by a thick conductor okay so now we have to measure the short circuit power factor in the short circuit test of the transformer so we need to design the power factor block which will give us the reading of the power factor the power factor is the ratio of the active power or apparent power is called the power factor so we need the elements the active and reactive power block okay we need uh, the trigonometric function block and we need uh, gain block we need product block we need uh, divider block okay, this one we need multiplexer okay now take another rms block now also we have to measure the copper losses in the short circuit test of the transformer now this watt meter will practically give us the full load copper losses in the transformer winding so this active power will clearly give us the full load copper losses in the short circuit test of the transformer okay so now we need another rms block okay this give us the v rms okay this is the i rms okay now connect these blocks now this product block will give us the output of the apparent power parent power which is the product of the voltage and current okay now from the output of this divider block we will get the power factor so here the power factor is the ratio of the active power vi vi cosine of x divided by vi apparent power now would give us the cosine of x now this will give us the angle between voltage and current so this would give us the angle of power factor okay now this gain block convert the radian value into the degree value 180 divided by is the formula okay now connect these blocks so this is connected vrms is connected with this and this vrms is connected with this block now give the in inputs of the vrms and the irms to this block product block okay now give the input of the v to the power block okay and give the input of the current to the power block connect this 
now here the power factor is the ratio of the active power over apparent power so output of the active power connected with the multiplication and this will give us the apparent power connect with this divider block okay now this will give us the angle between the voltage and current now we need another display now this display will give us the power factor okay this display would give us the power factor we need another display now this display would give us the power angle okay power angle okay we need to measure the full load copper losses in this test so connect this display with this p it would give us the active power so that active power can be called as the full load copper losses in the short circuit test of the transformer so this would give us the active power in watts now this watt meter this watt meter would give us the full load copper losses in the short circuit test of transformer we need another display so this would give us the result of the apparent power okay now this display would give us the full load copper losses uh, okay which is the active power in watts okay and this display would give us the apparent power okay which is connected with the output of this product block which is the apparent power vi okay so this is the power factor measurement block okay i'll change the parameters as per the circuit diagram now 50 e e power 3 is the apparent power okay frequency 50 hertz our first winding is the hv winding in this test 1000 and 220 is lv winding 1000 is the hv and 220 is the lv okay now apply okay now voltage is 100 volt frequency 50 hertz okay change the frequency of each rms block make it 50 hertz 50 hertz 50 hertz 50 hertz and change the frequency of the power block 50 hertz okay now our circuit is ready for the simulation now run the simulation now you can see this is the full load current okay which is flowing from the hv winding of the transformer which is the primary winding we are given the 10 percent of the rated voltage to the primary winding of the transformer which is 70.71 which is the rms value and 26.55 ampere is the full load current flowing from the primary winding of the transformer and 62.94 watts or the full load copper losses okay uh, measured by this active power measurement block okay now we can verify these results with the help of the calculator okay now this is the full load current okay now what is the formula for calculating the current in the ac circuit i is equal to p over v cosine of phi now what is the v over here 70.71 okay multiplied by what is the power factor this is the power factor 0 0.033 okay 0 0.033 okay now 2.33 now p over v cosine of phi what is the p over here 62.94 divided by 2.33 so almost we are getting the same current 27 or the 26.55 ampere so this is the full load current flowing from the uh, hv winding of the transformer okay 
and we can also verify the power factor with the help of the formula which is the it is the ratio of the active power over apparent power which will give us the power factor now here we are getting the power factor from this block which is a 0.0, .0 uh, double three five three okay now we can verify this by dividing this up, uh, active power and this apparent power now what is the active power 62.94 divided by apparent power 1877 so again we are getting the same power factor so this is the short circuit power factor in the case of short circuit test of the transformer so this active power result which is a 62.94 watts are the full load copper losses in the short circuit test of the transformer so this is the metal lab simulation of the short circuit test of the transformer dear viewers this was the experiment regarding the short circuit test of the transformer that we have done on the matlab software in which we have observed the results of the full load copper losses that were measured by the watt meter in this test and also we have measured the full load current through the ammeter and also we have measured the power factor so i hope that you have enjoyed the today's experiment and at the last do subscribe my youtube channel shoebe madayo for more informative videos related to the electrical engineering area. Thank you.